Hello and welcome to the second part of the how to create a hot kettle tutorial series in Umake. My name is Nico and I'm now going to walk you through how to modify this shape to make it look more like a hot kettle. So we, in the first tutorial on this, we basically created this shape using a circle, a square, and then pulling that shape up. Now what we want to do is create the spout and the handles. So what we're going to do here is we're going to simply tap once on this curve to go into edit mode and you can see that it has two endpoints these little green dots are endpoints and i'm going to go to the top view here and i'm simply going to zoom in and i'm going to tap in the middle here tap and hold and i'm going to add a control point so i'm going to tap add control point and you'll see if i pull this point out i'll get a nice curve so i'm going to pull this out over here but we don't really want a, curve, a curved spout. We kind of want more of something that's uh, a little bit more pointy. So to do that, we're going to add two more points. So I'm going to tap and hold. Let's see here. Go back to the top view and go back into edit mode. We just kind of got out of edit mode for a second. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I want to tap on Right, right about here and tap add to add a point and tap over here to add a point as well and I can just kind of pull these in a little bit and you can use the grid to help you kind of keep this symmetrical if you want so I'm going to pull this in pull this in and do one more add and add And there we have something that's a little bit more pointy. And once we hit the green check mark, you'll see that we have something that looks more like a spout. Now, if you want, you can even move those points up a little bit like that. And you'll get something kind of elegant and spoutish like that. So there you go. That's how you create the spout. You can see that the surface kind of organically changes. It looks nice. I'm happy with that. And so that's how you would create the spout part of the hot kettle. In the next tutorial, we're going to add the handle to the lid and then do an extrude along path to add the handle to the back of the kettle. I hope this tutorial was helpful and useful. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback for us, definitely let us know. You can find us on our YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter channels. Can't wait to see what you create. Take care, guys.